Now we are born again. We have to be transformed from people who used to crawl and step gold down there and begin to fly like eagles and butterflies in the kingdom of God. Do you know that the problem that we have, many of the problems that we have, they don't emanate from our spirits. They come from our soul. And the mind is the king of the soul. As I have said, we are spirit. We have a soul. And we live in the body. Now the soul, it constitutes of the mind. The will Kuda. and the emotions. The, the mind is the king in the soul. And if your mind is not transformed, it will govern the total you. No wonder why you have some people who are born again who speak bad as if they are not born again and you wonder don't they have Jesus in their hands they are born again they have Jesus but their minds are not transformed and the Bible says from the intent of the heart which is the soul the mouth is speaking you cannot speak good if your mind is not renewed there is a need for a renewal and transformation of my thoughts. Did you know that as human beings, we are a sum total of our thoughts? The way you are dressing, it is the equals of what you think. You are your thoughts. You will never live above what you think. You will never exceed your thought patterns. Don't think that you will become richer than what you think yourself. Because God has established a principle in the kingdom. In Proverbs chapter 23, verse 7. Proverbs chapter 23, verse 7. As a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. So what then happens to a man who thinks with unrenewed mind? Obviously that person thinks negative. And he becomes what he thinks. No wonder why Proverbs says to the when, when he writes. Guard your heart with all diligence. Throw out of that heart. Out of that soul of yours springs the issues of life. Paul gives a prescription to his church at Philippi. He tells them what to think about. Because I perceive he has also seen that problem at that church. And in chapter 4, verse 8, he writes to the church at Philippi. Chapter 4, verse 8, on your right. And he says, brethren, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are good, whatsoever things are holy, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are pure, if there be any praise, and if there be any virtue, think on these things. Because as long as you think on the negative things, you experience negative things. As long as you think you experience bad things. One writer says, We attract the things that we think of the most. The things that we think of the most, we attract them to us. 